I love spending time in cathedrals like this. There's a holy stillness about this place, and yet, at the same time, sanctuaries like this all around the world are broadcasting a story every second of every day. It's not just the hymns being sung or the liturgical prayers being spoken that are resonating that story. It's also the space. The story on the walls of this sanctuary invite us into a much larger narrative. You know, the pastor here was just telling me that this space was actually designed to bring your eyes up towards the ceiling, leaving you an immediate posture of worship. In some cathedrals, artists have actually been commissioned to create works of art for places people will never visit. Not to hide it, but to allow worship to exist in places that words, prayers, and songs will never be heard. This makes me think about all our modern worship spaces, the stark contrast they have to the majestic design of this space and the story it tells. But our modern spaces can also invite us into a story and lead us to a posture of worship. Architectural design has changed, but we have the tools of modern technology that allow us to transform our modern spaces into powerful storytelling canvases. My fear is that with all the modernization and culture, we often don't leverage the tools beyond the simple inclusion of technology. We don't use them to transform our space into one that has artistic depth and meaning, a space that says something. We need a new picture of how media, art, technology, and worship collide. We need an analogy that reminds us of the impact new technology can have in the context of our worship services. I had a professional chef tell me once that most people don't realize the true impact salt has in cooking. He said that salt was actually more of an enhancer than a flavoring agent. What he meant is that salt chemically enhances the flavor of whatever it's added to, rather than trying to add something that isn't there in the first place. The same is true with visual worship. You see, visual worship isn't a marketing gimmick. Neither is technology, art, media, or environment. It's salt. And the role it plays in our worship gatherings is to tell a story that enhances rather than try and add something that wasn't a part of the original story. Our gospel doesn't need flavoring. We just need to share it in a manner where the true essence of it can be explored and engaged. We're beginning to ask deep questions about the role of technology in our worship gatherings and the balance between tools and theology when it comes to creativity. We're looking for ways to use technology for more than just being relevant. We're exploring those differences between the worship and visuals team. I think God's calling us to rebuild the creative walls of the church. And I think he's calling us to use our tools to transform our spaces into environments that invite people into a story much bigger than you or I could ever imagine.